So this Lifepack 15 machine will show me how accurate this smartwatch actually is. So on the watch, I had a blood oxygen of 98. Let's see what we're getting. How accurate are smartwatches? Uh, quite specifically, the Mobvoi TicWatch Pro 5 Enduro. Now, fortunately, where I work, there's a department, like a paramedics department, where people are taught how to use them sort of things and other doctory hospital things and stuff. And they have this Lifepack 15 machine. It's a proper live machine. It can measure your heart rate, your blood oxygen. There's also a defibrillator in there as well. So I went along and put it to the test. Um, the standard of what we use in the ambulance service in the UK. So on the watch, I had a blood oxygen of 98. Yeah, 98. Bang on. And what about my heart rate? So measuring my heart rate, 98. That's 100, a little tiny bit out, but it's not. Well, that's 100 now, actually. 101, 101. If I do that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much bang on. Okay, so now we have the accuracy concerns out of the way. I'm very confident with the information and the readings that the watch is providing me. This is the box it comes in. Wear OS by Google, powered by Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1, rotating crown navigation, dual display with interactive and customizable ultra low power display, sapphire crystal display, long battery life. Uh, this I got around about five days, which I was quite happy with. Uh, fast charge, yes, it does fast charge. Um, MIL STD 810H. I think that's like a military standard grade in terms of how durable the watch is. Five ATM water resistant and open water swim suitable. Built in compass, GPS, and barometer. One tap measurement of multiple health metrics. Recovery time and VO2 max. 100 plus professional workout modes. Advanced exercise tracking. And 7,000 watch faces. That's a lot. Yeah, battery life I was happy with. I got five days and charging is fast. I think I didn't actually measure it properly, but I think it was pretty much full charge within an hour uh, charging it, which I was quite happy with. So the watch does pair with an app, Mobvoi Health app. Quite a simple app. It has the statistics page where all your information is going to be synced, like your sleep, your heart rate, your blood oxygen, and your exercises. Then it has a device section. This is where you can change the watch faces. It'll also show you the, the battery percentage in there as well. You can change some of the tiles and you can go into the settings from there as well. And the account section, obviously your, your account information, you can set dark mode there as well. And you can change the units like Imperial or metric, whatever you prefer. So this has a built-in GPS, so it's perfect if you're outside exercising. You don't have to have your phone with you because this watch will track every movement that you make. I went out on a walk the other day with the family because I'm not a much of a fitness fanatic. I went for a bit of a walk, had to rain, did it? Uh, it tracked my metrics really well. Now, I like the ultra low power display. This is obviously going to conserve battery life. Lift it up, the backlight will just shine. You can read the information quite quickly there. You can turn this off in the settings if you wish. You don't have to use the ultra low power display. You can just have the full quality sapphire display there in your face, but it will drain your battery quicker. Navigating through the watch is really easy. You can use the rotating crown on the right hand side, which is lovely and smooth. And you can also use the touch screen as well, swiping left and right. But I found the actions to be really nice and smooth. Now, one thing I was really interested in was the sleep tracking. This is last night's data, uh, awake, REM, light sleep. Lots and lots of information here. We also have a snoring record as well, but I'll show you that in a moment. So you've got your average heart rate, blood oxygen, sleep respiratory rate as well, 15 BRPM, which I think is normal, skin temperature as well, and lots of other information. So it compares, obviously, previous nights and stuff as well. Loads of information to go on. But the snoring record, I think I got it recorded the night before. Here we go. Snoring record. Now, this is great, but I think the microphone on the watch is rather sensitive as well, and there's quite a lot of noise when you listen back to some of the snoring.
<laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you to listen to any more of my snoring. But yes, it does record snoring. Uh, you can hear it, but I think there's probably just a little bit too much noise in there. So I was quite impressed with the amount of information this watch and the app gives you when you're tracking your sleep and even obviously your exercise routines as well. There's so much information there. Now there are plenty of apps on here. One of the apps I use quite often was Google Wallet. NFC is in the watch, so you can make payments via the watch. Let's call the wife. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, it's your husband, it's Paul. Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah, I'm just demoing the um, the talk calling feature on the the smartwatch. Yes. Can you, am I muffled now? Hello? Yeah, I just covered the microphone, there's a little microphone below the the wheel, so you couldn't hear me then, could you? I could hear, like, something, I don't know, like it went a bit muffled, but I don't know what you said. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for the, the demo, my darling, and uh, That's all right. I'll see you soon. All right, then, see ya. Bye. Bye. So just checking their website for the prices, because the change. At the moment, 25% off, but guaranteed by the time you watch this video, it might not be there. At the, it retails for 32999. You get obsidian black and also a sandstone color as well. The one I've been using is um, obsidian black. And you can also get replacement straps off the website, 24 mil silicon bands and leather bands. They're like £10.44, £10.99. You can even buy a replacement charger as well. I mean, £329 is quite a lot of money, but I've seen smartwatches priced up to £600, £700. And I think for the features and everything you get in this and the accuracy, I think it is decent value for money. It's comfortable on the wrist. Battery life is really good. I was really impressed with the battery life, the accuracy. And just the quality of the readings and the results and I think the app is perfect as well. So these are thoughts from a person who doesn't really wear smartwatches. So I've learned quite a lot while I've been using this smartwatch compared to others who've probably used smartwatches for years. It's just a slightly different angle. Now the big question is would I recommend this watch, this smartwatch? And I'd say yes. If your budget allows, you know, £330 then this is a very, very good choice. Any questions, pop them down in the comments below. I'll put links to this in the description if you want to take a look as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.